Hello guys, this is Rich Rich TV and welcome back to my channel. But before we start our devotional guys, I would like to shout out Marisa TV, Kigwa Butigon, Saigi Karyon, MTO Travels, Vic and John Blog, Swagger Bailo, Erlinda Villigas, John Zinap, Ginilan Al Alfires, Performance Work, Michael Aborita, Riz the Clan, Mind Pebby, Jow Travel and Tour, Just Me, Rose Ann Villigas, Youngs TV, Marisa Laborita TV, Morena Jean, Jason Sia, Sunny Bob, Ranilo Ligaspi, Gladys Carolino, Distill Bloggers, Dritz Aburi, Michael Aborita, Chris Ann, and Papa Joe TV. Guys, praise God for natapos na na araw. Praise God sa successful na day. Praise God din sa mga productive na nagawa natin, no? Sa mga area of responsibilities natin kung saan man tayo natatrabaho, no? Okay guys, so let's now proceed to our devotional. Let's open our Bible to Acts chapter 8 verse 26 to 35. Acts chapter 8 verses 26 to 35. Guys, I'm still using the devotional study Bible because I said, as I said, no, I'm using this because the words you see is so simplified na maintindihan talaga natin yung words na ginagamit niya dito. Okay? At uh, Acts chapter 8 verses 26 to 35, ang ano niya dito, title sa Bible is uh, Philip and Ethiopian. No? Now an angel of the Lord said to Philip, Go south of the road. The desert road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. So he started out on his way to meet an Ethiopian, Enoch, an important official in charge of all the treasury of Candace, queen of the Ethiopian. This man had gone to Jerusalem to worship. On his way home was sitting in his chariot reading the book. Of Isaiah the prophet. The Spirit told Philip, Go to the chariot and stay near it. Then Philip ran up to the chariot and heard the man reading Isaiah the prophet. Do you understand what you're reading? Philip asked. How can I? He said, unless someone explain it to me. So he invited Philip to come up and sit with him. The eunuch was reading this passage of scripture. He was led like a sheep to the slaughter, and as a lamb before the shearer is silent, so he did not open his mouth. In his humiliation, he was deprived of justice. Who can speak of his descendants, for his life was taken from the earth? The eunuch asked Philip, Tell me, please, who is the prophet talking about, himself or someone else? Then Philip began with that very passage of scripture and told him the good news about Jesus. Amen and amen. Okay guys, let's pray. Father God, that we thank you that all, there's always a good news that came from you, Lord God. Even sa mga narinig namin today, we know, oh God, there is something that you're going to lead us na mapander namin. Even there, God, is as we sleep this evening, we pray, O God, na Ikaw din ang manguna sa pag-bless uh, uh, amin and even uh, revealing of yourself that you may also go on with you spiritually, O God. Lord, thank you that we can commit all these things to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, guys, our focus verse for today is found in Acts 8, chap uh, chapter 8, verse 35, and it says, Philip began with the very passage of scripture and told him the good news about Jesus. The title of our devotional for today, guys, is Good News to Tell. Okay, marami tayong good news, no? Ako, two weeks ago, I also received good news, no? So, yan yung, ano, 
uh, good news na ano, I'm hoping na good news would still come even today sa devotional natin. Okay? Good news to tell. What's your name? Asked Arman, an Iranian student. After I told him my name, is Estera. His face let up as he exclaimed, We have a similar name in Farsi. It's Sitare. The small connection opened up an amazing conversation. I told him, I was named after a Bible character, Esther, a Jewish queen in Persia, present-day Iran. Starting with her story, I shared the good news of Jesus. As I result of our conversation, Arman started attending a weekly Bible study to learn more about Christ. One of Jesus' followers, Philip, guided by the Holy Spirit, asked question that ignited a conversation with an Ethiopian official traveling in his chariot. Do you understand what you are reading? The Ethiopian man was reading a passage from the book of Isaiah and seeking spiritual insight. So Philip's question came at the right time. He invited Philip to sit next to him and in humility listened Philip, realizing what an amazing opportunity this was. Began with that very passage of scripture and told him the good news about Jesus. Like Philip, we too have good news to tell. Let's seize the daily occasions we encounter in our workplace, at the grocery store, or in the neighborhood. May we allow the Holy Spirit to guide our steps and give us the words to share hope and joy in Jesus. Amen and amen. No, kaya yung guys, ma, we always have a good news to tell. No, uh, like sa grupo natin dito. No, uh, I'm sure you good news, and uh, of course to those ma prayer request na binibigay nyo sa akin. No, uh, that was also a good news, so I could pray for you. And good news also na may progress yung mga pini pray natin. I know guys na hindi lang ako na pray sa situation. No, uh, particularly sa situation ni General Alvarez and Julian, but I know you too are praying for them also. No, uh, I thank God for the initiative of many people na ginag nagpagamit at ginagamit para tumulong sa kanila. No, okay, guys, I have questions here for us all to answer. How will you prepare yourself to be more open to speaking to others about Jesus? Okay, uh, as I said, no, I I'm starting my day with prayer and devotional. So, yun yung morning devotion ko. And I'm also sharing this evening devotion ko sa inyo. Kasi guys, dati yung devotional ko, no? Uh, ano siya, 7 o'clock in the morning. Pero, kukunti lang yung pumupunta. Kaya, many suggested na to transfer my devotional at 8. Sabi ko, okay. Kasi naman, I also have my devotional in the evening. So, ito, ginagamit ko rin tong devotional ko para makashare sa inyo. This good news. And that is my preparation. Uh, a preparation that I'm doing. What encouragement do you gain from Philip's example? Okay. Although, ako yung necessary ng words sa inyo, but I'm so inspired. If you're going to uh, to comment positive words also, and even uh, gaya ng ginawa ni General Alferes kagabi, no, na, ano, na, to pray for her two children, then as I played over sa ano video niya nakita ko na yung papa niya rin pala is ano no uh, may kapansan din so sabi ko Lord uh, genuinely really needs our prayer no sana hindi lang ako ang magpe-pray sa kanya but I encourage you na tayong lahat magpray talaga sa kanya no and even to Julian or sa inyo man ko ano yung mga concerns ninyo uh, you can drop your prayer items no so i can uh, screenshot kasi every time na nanonood ako ng premiere i always do screenshot kung sino yung ano uh, pumasok para ma shout out at para ma pray ko rin no okay i have a specific time to pray for you guys no okay that's my encouragement for you so guys let's now pray god guide our steps today towards someone who needs the hope that only comes from you. Amen and amen. Okay guys, so uh, sana may natutunan tayo no, sa devotional natin and uh, hoping uh, we will all grow by God's grace. No? Okay, this is again Rich of Rich TV. 
kita-kita tayo muli at hanggang sa muli, paalam!